Stop losses, mental stops versus hard stops. What are they and which one should you use? That's what we're diving into today. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome back. In today's video, there are three topics on the agenda. Number one, I'm gonna define what a mental stop loss is as well as what a hard stop loss is so that you'll know the difference between the two. Number two, I'm gonna share with you the good and the bad of each. There's not one perfect pick in this scenario. There's good and bad on the mental stop loss side and there's good and bad on the hard stop side. You need to know all the information so that you can make a more informed decision for your trading. And number three, I'm gonna give you my opinion on what I use and what I think everybody should use. Now I respect everyone's decision and how they wanna trade because there's no perfect way to trade and make money. But I will share with you my opinion on what I think most traders should do, especially beginners. And then if you stay to the very end of the video, I have a bonus for you. That's right, I have another trade, live trade captured on camera from earlier in the week and I have a trade for you. It is a loser. I want to show you one of my losing trades. And in this trade, I either use a mental stop or a hard stop. We don't know which it is, but you'll find out if you stay till the end of the video and watch that live trade recap. All right, let's dive in. All right, so what do you say we start off with what a hard stop is? Now, the definition of a hard stop is just a stop loss, meaning an order that will get you out of a trade if it goes against you. It's like a safety level. It's a exit hatch if things get crazy. It's, it's your parachute if you're jumping out of a plane. What a hard stop is, is a stop that you actually put in the book, okay? And I wanna show you that exactly how that goes. So I've got Walmart up on the chart here, five minute chart. And what I'm gonna do, and this is just in my demo account, the simulated account, I'm just gonna buy 100 shares right here. Okay, so I've got 100 shares, and now what I wanna show you is a stop loss, where I can put a stop loss in. So let's say I don't wanna be part of this trade if it drops below this level, let's call it 143, let's call it 143.50. So what I can do right there is I can just right click and say sell, and then I can edit this order. And what I can do is I can come in here and I'm gonna move myself out of the way. I can come in here and just look through this order and change it from just a standard market order to an actual stop. Now a stop, a hard stop is technically a stop market order, meaning when price action hits that level, it triggers a market order in the system to get you out at the next best market price. So right now, I've got this at 143.50. You can see right here, I changed that. It's 100 shares to sell. And then when I hit confirm and send, it'll put that out. And you can see right there that this is below that level. So if price action drops below, it'll trigger the market order and it'll get me out of the trade. And to demonstrate how it works, I'll just move it up here. We'll see if we can get it to trigger real quick. There you go. So I just got triggered out. You can see right here. Sold me out at 145.15. So it's a stop market order. It's a hard stop because it's actually in the system. I'm not making a decision. And that's where we're gonna go in step two of this video. We're gonna talk about the good and the bad of a hard stop. So on to a mental stop. Here's a mental stop, ready? Can you hear crickets? Nothing. Mental stop is nothing. It's me watching the screen and saying, okay. If this drops below 143.50, I'm out. And here's a mental stop. Are you ready? Okay, I just put it in. Did you see it? I'm just kidding. You don't put anything in. A mental stop is just, you're just sitting here watching it. You're saying at 143.50, I will flatten my position. So let's demonstrate. I'm gonna buy my 100 shares again. So I get 100 shares. Now, let's say I wanna get out right now. A mental stop would be hitting this flatten button, manually hitting that. So if price action dumps against you and you press the flatten button and you get out of the trade, that is a mental stop loss. One that is not in the system and not hard, not predetermined, not written down, not in the record. If you place a hard stop loss, TD Ameritrade or whatever platform you're using has record of it. They know where it is and it's waiting for you. Mental stop loss, there's nothing there until you punch the button. So with that, 
Let's jump into the second phase of this video, which is the good and the bad of each. So let's talk about the hard stop loss first. What are the good things that come from having a hard stop loss? Well, one good thing is you don't have to make any decisions. For me personally, it takes a lot of stress out of my trading life when I know that if I put a stop loss in and it is hard, it's in the system, that means that if, say, I get up to get a drink of water, I go for a run, and price action dumps against me, I know that I'll get out at that price because it's a stop market order. It'll get me out at the next best market price. So you're out, you don't have to worry about it. Now, as far as the downsides to a stop market order, there is a lot of talk about stop hunting. Now, market makers that are taking orders on both sides and matching orders up, they match up buyers and sellers. What they can do is they can see your orders so they know where your stop losses are. So they could potentially move the price action up to trigger out to get those shares from you in order to pass them on to someone else at a better price. So there is a little gamification there as far as messing with stop losses. It happens occasionally. I wouldn't say it happens all the time, and I would say it happens more often in thinly traded stocks, stocks that have a wider bid-ask spread. And I think it happens more in penny stocks than it does in very liquid names like AMD or Bank of America. So that would be the downside, that it's in the book, someone can see it, they can move around and the market makers could possibly come in and, and trigger it and then move in your direction. Everyone has that story where you put your stop loss in, you think you're in the trade, things look good, then the trade goes against you, you get stopped out, and then it reverses and goes in the original direction that you had planned. Hair pulling, very frustrating, it's happened to all of us, that's the downside of the hard stop. Now, moving on to the mental stop, good side from mental stop, you can't be stop hunted. Nobody knows where your stop is, so it's like your invisible ghost. That's the upside of the mental stop loss. In my opinion, that's the only upside to a mental stop loss. Downside to the mental stop loss. I'm gonna show you an example. So I wanna cruise over here to the 27th of August, and I wanna show you something. Look at this wick right here. So let's say that you were trading and you wanted to get out if it broke 136.50. So it's trading right here, it's trading right here, everything's looking good, it pops up, you're thinking, oh yeah, this is great, and then boom, you're at 132. If you would have had a hard stop in the system, you would have had obviously some slippage because it's a market order, but you would have been out, at least triggered out, right here at 136.50. But instead, you're not at 135.50 or 34.50 or 33 or 32.50. You're now below 32. You're almost $5 lower in a matter of seconds. Now, yes, this flashed all the way back up and continued to kind of move around. But what if it flashed down and it stayed down there? What if you had larger size and you were looking for 10, 20 cent move and now you just got beat by $5. It can add to huge losses. It can wipe out months of winners. The mental stop loss, I've noticed that when I'm on message boards and reading comments from people, there seems to be some confusion that if you are a disciplined trader, you're able to use a mental stop loss. And I, I completely disagree with that. I am an extremely disciplined trader and I would never use a mental stop loss for my day trading. I always use a hard stop loss. It doesn't have anything to do with discipline because no amount of discipline on the entire earth is gonna allow you to get out of this situation. Some people say I set an alert and when it goes off, I'll jump into my screen, check it out, and if it's at my stop loss level, I'll flatten my position. Well, I'm sorry, but you don't have time. If this would have stayed down here, you had no time. You'd get your alert when it broke, but within seconds, it was $5 lower. So the downside is you can take huge, huge losses. So there's the upside and the downside of both. Now I'm gonna give you my opinion. My opinion on this is, and you probably already know from how I'm talking. If you're trading without stop losses, you're an idiot. Is that you always have to use a hard stop. That's my opinion. That's for my trading. I always use a hard stop loss and I always use it in a bracket order. I always have a stop loss 
and a target in place for every single trade because I have to be able to control my reward to risk ratio. I have to know that if I lose, I'm only going to lose one R. And I have to know that if I win, I'm always going to win two R. That's my trading plan. That's my trading style. And I have to have those be rigid so that I can measure. I can have my metrics play out and I can incrementally change things to make things better in my strategy. If I'm taking big whippers like this, maybe I'm winning $200, win $200, win $200, lose $3,000. That's devastating and I honestly think if you use mental stop losses and you take a big loss like that, that is very likely to push you out of this game. It can be very defeating, it can crush your soul and it can lead to massive losses that can basically blow up an account very quickly. If you're trading without stop losses, you're an idiot. I've had some emails and some messages from some traders in our group and on the YouTube channel of some devastating losses that could have potentially been cleaned up with a hard stop loss. So my opinion, always use a hard stop loss. And if you wanna take it one step further, always use a hard stop loss within a bracket order. It just makes your trading life so much easier. And I think people should disconnect discipline and mental stop losses. I don't think those two things are connected. You don't have to be disciplined to use a mental stop loss. And if you, you use a hard stop loss, it doesn't mean that you're not disciplined. In my opinion, you're more disciplined because you're playing by your own plan. That way you can measure your results. All right, and as I promised, I'm now gonna play you a live recorded video of one of my trades from earlier in the week. I'm gonna give you one of my losers. This is a loser I took, and yes, it has a hard stop in it. It has a bracket order with a hard stop and a take profit, and you're gonna see the entry, and you're gonna see the failure, and you're gonna notice that I only lose one R. My risk unit right now is one R is $150. So I want you to watch this trade. I want you to look at the PL after the trade closes and tell me below, comment below what that number is once the trade is closed. Hope this video was helpful. We'll see you next time.